everybody. So just to get it out of the way, what is this? Uh, I'm actually currently trying to get rid of an eight year old scar by using silicone patches and silicone gel. And after today, I don't think I'll be using the patches during videos because I cannot move my forehead, number one. And number two, because I cannot move my forehead, I'm having difficulty inflecting my voice with, in, in the proper spots. But anyways, with that, let's get to it. So I have a word doc here because I have a lot to go over with you guys. So in this three part video series, I'm going to share with you my experience buying and trying different Huel products and flavors. In part one, I'll be discussing the three different products I bought in my first order, as well as the freebies you get with your first order and some info that you should know before even considering purchasing. For the basics of what these products are, as well as visual demonstrations, I'll link videos below from other YouTubers. One basic thing that I will point out is that this defaults to the Huel subscription service when you're ordering, so be careful. <laughs> I'll talk more about that in part three of the review. So, first thing, Huel requires you to buy at least three items from a single product line to even place an order. Since my first order was back when they only had two hot and savory flavors, I got two bags of tomato and herb plus one bag of Thai green curry. And each of those was $23 for seven servings. I also purchased a sample of the coffee caramel bar version 3.1 which was $2.10. In addition, I got, because this is my, was my first order, a free t-shirt and a free thermos type thing that's just designed to microwave your hot and savory in. I love the t-shirt. They, they have a women's cut available, so unlike most free t-shirts, this one's actually flattering. I just didn't wear it for this video because I didn't want to look like a salesperson or something. Um, whoops. So for the food, let's talk about the tomato and herb first. With all the hot and savories, you're instructed to shake the bag well to mix the ingredients. And I thought I'd done a good job of that, but I realized by the time I got to the last few servings of this, that my first few servings could have been a lot more flavorful had I done a better job of shaking. So for each subsequent bag, I would shake it upside down 10 times, then horizontally 10 times, then right side up 10 times before I even cut the bag open. After it was opened, I'd still sh shake vigorously for each use, just not, not as ritualistically. <laughs> so what was the flavor like? For those first few servings, it sort of had the flavor of an old-fashioned meatloaf, like with tomato paste, breadcrumbs, unseasoned hamburger, uh, hamburger, and pretty much no spices whatsoever. But for the last few servings, it actually had the flavor of a rich, aromatic tomato soup, which was a very pleasant surprise. As far as mouthfeel, AKA texture, I need to give some context first. So when microwaving this or any of the other hot and savories, I did not use the thermos. I tried that one time and it was so hard to stir thoroughly that I just dumped the entire thing into a bowl. I then would cover the bowl with a plate before I microwaved it. And that would retain the moisture as well as giving it some body. I, really like solid food or at least semi-solid food so for that reason i would only microwave it for one and a half minutes total using about half the water that it tells you to i say about because i did experiment a little to either side of that but overall this had the texture of a porridge i could identify some distinct ingredients like quinoa and lentils but it was definitely more like porridge or stew than like solid food. 
if I had, if I used a little less water, it tasted too dry, but if I used a little more water, it was soupy. So I kind of had to stay in the middle and just go for the porridge. Now to the Thai green curry. Texture wise, this was a little more satisfying than the tomato and herb. I could texturally and visually identify things like rice and corn in it, but it was just like a somewhat more substantial stew. Flavor wise, I'll admit that I had this before ever having tried curry, so I didn't actually know what it was supposed to taste like, uh, but at first I thought it tasted like, and I kid you not, kitty litter with fruity overtones, and I'm just just judging from the smell of kitty litter. I've never actually had it, but oh golly, the, my document just scrolled a whole bunch. So to mask this, I did something else that also needs a disclaimer. I know that animal products are never necessary, and I could have found a vegan way to do this if I'd had a little more money, but I was very desperate. So to mask the flavor of the Huel, as well as the dryness, which was similar to the tomato and herb, I would mix in cheese Whiz, grated Parmesan, and either ketchup or barbecue sauce. What's interesting though, is that by the time I got to the end of the bag, I actually liked the Thai green curry on its own. I think that's because with this bag, most of the flavoring was at the top, so the kitty litter flavor was just less intense by the time I got to the end. Uh, months later, I actually tried tiki masala curry sauce, and it was the exact same flavor. So if you like tiki masala, you may actually like this. Now to the caramel, coffee caramel bar. This was the most bitter thing I've ever had in my life. In all fairness, I don't like coffee, but I do like coffee ice cream as well as caramel, so I thought I might like this. However, it tasted like eating dark coffee grounds in the form of a brick. I did not detect any caramel flavor either, so yeah. So that's it for this video. In part two, I'll be discussing slash describing the three new hot and savory flavors that I tried as well as some other info that you'll want to know ahead of time. Please let me know in the comments if there's anything I've forgotten or that you're just wondering, and I'd also love to hear your experiences with these or other products and flavors. Thank you immensely for watching. Please like and subscribe if this was at all useful to you, and I hope you have a great day.